I now call Michelle O'Neill. Gourmet, I've got a can call you. Can I join with colleagues right across this House in conveying my sympathy and that of the Sinn Féin party to the family, to the friends of the late Seamus Mallon, whose requiem mass we celebrated in Mark Hill, uh, Market Hill earlier today. In particular, uh, I want to offer my condolences to Seamus' daughter Orla, his son-in-law Mark, and his beautiful wee granddaughter Lara, who played her part at making the funeral mass a very beautiful and fitting tribute to her granda. The loss of uh, Seamus Mallon is a significant moment in the history of this island, but it is, first and foremost, a devastating loss to his family and his friends, to his colleagues in the SDLP, for whom he was a close and special figure, and I know uh, was a very valued mentor to both Nicola and to Colm. Our thoughts are with all of you today and with Seamus' family. I didn't know Seamus very well personally myself, but I certainly knew of his reputation as, a, as both former Deputy Leader of the SDLP for many years and the party's chief negotiator during the 1998 Good Friday Agreement, to which he clearly made a huge contribution, not only in reaching that historic agreement, but also leading the new executive as Deputy First Minister and Joint Head of Government. Seamus served not only as a Minister and Member of the Legislative Assembly, but also as an MP at Westminster and a Senator in Leinster House. He had an electoral record which we in this chamber can only admire. In each of these roles, he used his voice to articulate the interests, the views and the feelings of the nationalist community in the North for over 40 years. SDLP leader Colin Eastwood has in recent days described Seamus as a force of nature, and I think that is very apt. Seamus has left a legacy of hard work and commitment to creating a better society and a better Ireland. He has left an indelible print on the politics in Ireland. Despite our different political outlooks, and paths challenging the British Government's presence and the causes of division and partition in Ireland, there is no doubt that Seamus and his friend John Hume helped to open up the prospects for peaceful change. We put aside party differences to effect real change for the people of our country. And I put on record our recognition and respect for the critical role played by both men and many others at that time to bring about the peace process and the courage, generosity and risks taken by them both to achieve peace here in Ireland. Seamus led a full political life in the service of the Irish people, and right into his 80s he was still making his voice heard, and even if we didn't always agree, he made sure that we heard it and that we were listening. As we mourn his passing, let those of us in this House who have formed the new executive cooperate in every way that we can so to fulfil the promise of the Good Friday Agreement to a new generation. And in this way, Seamus's contribution will, I hope, have everlasting value and never be forgotten. May he rest in peace. Gurmila Mayogov.